Hey YouTube, it's Elizabeth, Finding Elizabeth, and today is June 29th, 2015, and this is my week 63 post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. I wasn't going to make a video today because I didn't have to go anywhere, and so I worked out this morning and I didn't take a shower, um, and I look kind of cray-cray, but I figured in my last video I told you guys I ate food with my fingers out of a doggy bag in my car, so you can see me with no makeup and kind of weird hair right we're friends we're family it's all good um so my starting weight in january of 2014 was 402 pounds i had surgery on april 14th 2014 uh, at which time i weighed 360.6 pounds last week i weighed 213.8 pounds this week i weigh 216.8 pounds so that's a three pound gain I can make excuses for why that is. I didn't eat great, but I don't think it's totally that. It's that time of the month. And somehow, last week, I've taken hydrochlorothiazide, which is a diuretic, for years. Um, and I must have, sometimes if I'm running late and have to go to a meeting, I'll throw all my meds in my purse. Somehow I lost the prescription of hydrochlorothiazide. So I did not take that for a week. So I'm sure that has something to do with it. I got... Um, a new prescription today because I lost my old one but um, I didn't eat great and I didn't exercise great last week um, I went to a baby shower yesterday and I don't know it's just like suddenly I feel like I can eat much more than I used to be able to so that's that but anyway what made me decide to go ahead and make a video today was I got a little notification from time hop that told me today was one year since I um, lost 100 pounds. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of weird because it certainly doesn't feel like it's been a year since then. But I guess it has. So um, that's kind of amazing. And I guess so many people who I know say, I can't ever remember you as you were before. Well, geez, it's been a year um, since I've had that much of a weight loss. So I guess that's why, because they've been seeing me like this for a while. Oh, but anyway, my total weight loss um, since I started, I guess, is 185.2, uh, and since surgery, 143.8. So, here we are. Um, what else is going on? I'm still struggling. I don't know if you guys, Lauren Losing did a video um, where she talked about, I think she said M. Oh, now I know what it was. MMF, Mental Mind Fuck of Weight Loss Surgery and how usually people have it um, in the beginning and she was experiencing it later. I'm experiencing that um, too right now. And I don't know how to just get my head right around this. I know I've said this in every video the past um, few days, but I just have it stuck in my head, some ideas about um, weight loss one year post-op and it did not help that Jennifer Bleacher and Mama Mia Melissa made videos this week about weight gains no that's fine and I'm glad they did and we're sharing their experience um but I'm just feeling a little panicky which about that which is not good and it's not where my head needs to be and honestly um even if I didn't lose another pound I feel incredible but I don't like how it's playing with my mind. I don't like what I'm... Re I mean, it just seemed like overnight I realized that, oh, you can eat way more than you used to be able to. I mean, it's just like it sort of happened like that. So it's much more about... Um, and I'm not... I mean, it takes two or three bites of something for me to be full. So it's not that I'm eating because I'm hungry. But anyway, that's my mental mind fuck for this week. I'm trying to get my head around it, trying to get... Um, just back on track with the basics, um, which would be 100 grams of protein, 100 ounces of water, and 10,000 steps every day. If I can do that, I think I'm, I'll be fine. Um, I don't, I think I was saying this, I met Amy, um, gets a VSG and I'll talk about it at the end, but I think I was saying this to her. If I ate, like I, you know, my slogan was, uh, you ate a bagel, you didn't kill a baby. Um. I don't get upset with myself if I eat something that's, you know, what somebody else might not consider perfect. But even if I eat something that's better for me, not processed whole food, and I 
do it from a compulsive place, that's where I get kind of um, uptight and down on myself. So working on that, I'm going to continue. I posted a video last week about going to an OA meeting. I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I really like that one meeting I went to. I can't go this week because I have a work thing to that particular one, but I will find another one to go to this week, and I need to decide what I'm going to do about therapy. If I'm going to go back and go back in intensively, or maybe try to find somebody whose focus is more eating disorders. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like my therapist is so proud of me and all that I've accomplished, really, since I met her, which was like... I guess going on seven years ago. I mean, my life has turned around tremendously in so many ways. And so I think, um, I don't know, it's harder to deal with or for me to talk about some of the more negative stuff because now I'm like keyed into her positive feelings about me and the change and her role in that and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, so last week, I think I talked about this last week about setting goals. Did I talk about that? Um, I also saw Patty last week and we were talking about how, oh, I know what I talked about last week. Last week I was talking about the fact that weekends are just kind of looming in front of me. And the same thing happened this weekend. Even though I had to work all weekend, it still felt like, ah, weekend, what do I do as it relates to food and boredom and whatever. But I had started thinking about setting some goals around other areas of my life. And it's funny, Patty and I were talking about this when we had lunch last week, and she pointed out something very <laughs> obvious that I hadn't thought of before, which was, you know, we spend so much of our life with this focus on, oh, if only I lost weight, or that's our big focus is either around having food and what we're gonna eat and eating compulsively for some people, and what's gonna happen if I ever lose this weight, or will I ever lose this weight, or could I ever lose this weight? I mean, that takes up a big portion of our brain. And now that's gone, because you know I do think about my food, um, and I think about exercise, but it's not like taking up 80% of my brain, because I feel like I got it. You know, We're contrary to what I might've just said about the mental mind fuck. I do, at a basic level, feel like, okay, I've got this, I know what to do. I'm healthy and fit, and it's all good. So what do we do with all that space? And um, Cece had done a video um, maybe a couple weeks ago where she was talking about how she had set some goals in place about, um, I think, creating her business or creating a life where she could travel more. And part of that was weight loss surgery. And I was just like, wow, she has some really concrete goals. And look at the progress that she's made toward that. So I'm working on um, some goals in... A couple different areas. I am going to share those with you guys because I like to stay accountable, but I'm not quite there yet. But I'm setting them around health and fitness, um, my career, not so much my consulting career, but things over and above that that I want to do. I think I, um, I posted this on Facebook that I had been thinking about um, maybe writing some stuff. And I have some good friends who are... Uh, who are nonprofit, you know, best, well, as best selling as should be for nonprofit books, writers. And I reached out to one of them with my idea about what I wanted to do to see about maybe getting some coaching. I can write, I think, reasonably well, but with the process of keeping on track to the completion of a book and to, you know, publishing and all those things. And um, he seemed very excited about it, and so we're supposed to talk. We were supposed to talk yesterday, but I forgot to call him, which is probably some kind of Freudian mind slip. But anyway, I mean, that's one thing I want to think about. There are a lot of um, things that you can do online in terms of helping and educating people, and that's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I've talked about it with weight loss, a WLS trainer. I don't know if we're going to do that or not. Um, Brandon's, my trainer's wife, is expecting a baby August 8th, and I think he has no idea how his life is going to change after that. So I want to give him a little space to see how that goes before we, uh, how many minutes are we at? Holy crap, i got to hurry up, um, before we go too far down that. But so some of the goals are around that, some of the goals are around my home, some goals are um, financial, but I'm working on that and I'll share that with you guys hopefully next week. What else? I got to meet Amy. It was really wonderful. Um, I loved her. She is... <laughs> just too um, funny and smart and to the point in a way. I mean, I really appreciate and like people like that. It was my, I realized afterwards that it was my first time 
ever going to meet a way, another weight loss surgery person by myself. That I'd either done it with Patty or, well, I mean, I guess Randy, VSG Granny, I met her by myself because we rode from the airport to the Chicago meet and greet. But it's always been kind of in a group. So this was like the first, you know, one-on-one -on -one thing. And it was awesome. And I wish she was going to be here for longer. And, um... Like I commented on her video and said, I just want everybody to like live on my street so we can have coffee together in the morning and we can walk to the beach and we can have margaritas at night. Then my life would be perfect. So anyway, she was great. I love seeing her. She's gonna um, be coming back. I'll see her in October at Obesity Health, but uh, then she's she and Lorraine, uh, Xena Warrior Prince are doing the Disney Marathon and they're gonna stay with me. So excited for that and some shout outs, Kim Gibbs, lost 100 pounds, awesome, Kim. Um, Gretchen VSG hit Wonderland. And Gretchen, I'm watching House on um, Netflix and I can't hear of that anymore or think of it without thinking of you since that's the hospital you work at. CC VSG, I wanted to give her a shout out. She did, she's just like really, um, I don't know, she has a lot of insight. I'm not sure how old she is, I'm thinking early 30s, but she has a lot of insight for her age, and she did a series of four videos um, over the weekend that were really great. I encourage you to go watch them. If I remember, I will link them below. Um, but she's just doing awesome. She looks great. She sounds great. She, I was just really impressed with the journey she's gone through in terms of working out some of her issues. So awesome go CC. and then um, VS Jenny talked about our friend Donnie but I also want to give her a shout out Donnie is someone that I knew um, from another online group that I was part of several years ago and I actually met her and she lives in um, the UK now but I met her um, in person when we were both probably at our highest weights she I think was in excess of 600 pounds and she had VSG then she had um, the duodenal switch and she had some complications and a lot of um, just a lot of issues along the way with her journey and she has stayed the course and she hit the 200s last week and I am just so proud of her she looks so great and is such an inspiration she just keeps on plugging through and is doing an amazing job. So just wanted to say that. Uh, shout out to Donnie, and I think that's it. I will talk to you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye.